Okay, so this is a quick video to explain what was the error um, for not seeing a utilization for machine number one. And what I noticed was that there were no parts going through this branch of the model. And I found out by including this count block here. So when you run the model right now, you'll see, let me show you. I can show you that that counter will have no units count meaning that the there's no parts going through that branch right now in in the model so to fix the problem obviously the problem is in here and what I noticed was that um, since the else statement is first and then the if statement follows all the parts are going through this else statement so all the parts are processed by the second machine. But if we change that sequence, I'm going to delete the, the else statement, and I'm gonna put it at the end of the list. So I'm gonna highlight end of the list, and I'm gonna add the else option. Now the else will come on after the if statement. Okay, so now I'll see that the second branch of my model is going to be the else statement. So if I connect that else statement into the second machine, now if I run the model, you'll notice that with the logic that we created in the lab, now we can record the utilization of the first machine. And also we are now having some units being processed by the first machine. So re the results for the labs are here on the output summary report at the end of the of the document. You see that the average utilization of the first machine is 0.57. Um, the average number of parts produced is 138. We also have the half width, which is the the size of the confidence interval. We also have a minimum and a maximum for all 10 replications. Okay, so that hope that clarifies uh, the question and that it can help you build your assignment. Thank you.